A very warm welcome to all my folks out there, those who are watching and those who are not watching. Anyways, doesn't matter. Peace and love to everyone. So finally, after making so many videos, I finally decided, <laughs> three videos in total, I finally decided, yes, to make a video which you guys requested for on trading apps or brokers. And yes, this is the video what you have been waiting for. So without further ado, let's check it out. So as you can see in the title of the presentation, it's trading platforms for Europeans. Yes, this uh, video is going to be specially dedicated to my European viewers uh, because I have been asked by many of my viewers who are non-Europeans living in Europe or uh, Europeans as well. And sorry, guys, I know some of my viewers are also from States and Canada, but I guess you guys already have a lot of tools and brokers out there which are really, really good, like Robinhood, Fidelity, TradeStation, and so on and so on. So I especially dedicated this video to the European viewers. And yes, this is a guide for beginners because the applications which I'm going to talk about are really user-friendly. And according to me, they are much more better uh, designed for beginners or not so advanced traders. Yeah, of course, advanced traders can also use them, but especially for these are especially for beginners. So guys, before we go further and check our list of brokers, I would like to clarify one thing that this is this list is not in any specific order. This is just random uh, brokers for, from one to four. And of course, in the end of the video, I will definitely give you a conclusion. So stay tuned till the end of the video. And yes, we will see the conclusion. Anyways, so let's check out our first broker on the list. So the first broker on the list is Comdirect. Now I have personally included this broker because I'm living in Germany and I have seen many of the traders are using this uh, broker as well. But anyways, let's see the points, all the points. So this is for Germans because the application is purely in German language and you cannot change the language. Uh, because it's actually a German bank. So as the point two says, since it has a banking background, so it has a banking background and that's also that's why it is itself listed in the stock exchange. So it is as a stock listed in the stock exchange. Now, no account opening fee and no inactivity fee. So if you're going to open the account in Comdirect, you don't have to pay any fee. And also there is no inactivity fee. So what inactivity fee is, that means if you are not trading for a particular amount of time, let's say one year or so, then uh, so in, with some brokers you do have to pay a fee and in this case you don't have to pay any fee but actually i don't decide a broker just based on this one factor always check the overall performance of a broker okay so let's move on to point four high trading fees for us uk and german stocks and i think this is one of the important factors for all the brokers out there so yes there is a high trading fees uh it is around 3.9 3.9 euros per trade when you are dealing in euros so that means 3.9 3.9 euros when you are selling the stock and 3.9 euros when you are buying the stock so it's not actually such a good app for intraday training because you have to pay every time and this is uh, a good application or broker when you are looking for long term investments and we will go further into this uh, especially uh, when we reach point 8 Anyways, so point five, euro to USD benchmark fees is also high, but this is only uh, when you are uh, trading with Forex. Uh, point six, withdrawal time can take up to three days and bank transfer is also possible. Uh, point seven, account opening needs personal ID or passport video identification and bank statement. So for every broker, you would need a personal identification and a proof of residence. So every broker would need that, but this can take up to three days. Okay. So your deeper account will open within uh, three to four days, let's say. So point eight, the market and the product availability is excellent in Comdirect. And this is one of the reasons why I have included this in our list. So what I mean by this is, for example, when you're looking for ETFs, Comdirect has around 1000 ETFs uh, in its portfolio. And this makes Comdirect a versatile application when it comes to its portfolio. And that's why I like its portfolio. But again, if you're not speaking German, if you're not a German speaker, then this might not be the best choice for you guys. So demo account is possible. Now, demo account is one of the most important things which I would recommend for any beginner who is entering 
investment or trading world. What is a demo account? A demo account gives you a possibility to play with fake money. That means it's a simulator and you get a uh, amount of money like let's say 500 to 1000 euros or something like that. And you can do or you can start trading and practice your trading and increase your learning curve. And that's why demo account is a really important feature when you are a sole beginner. Okay, let's move on to point 10. Investment protection amount is up to 100,000 euros and for 20,000 security, for example, when you are going into long-term investments like bonds or ETFs. Now, what exactly investment protection amount means? So investment protection means that every bank or every broker will give you a certain limit let's say up to 20,000 euros or dollars in case of uh, which is a common figure in case of every broker and in case the broker goes bankrupt then this money you will get this amount of money you will get back for sure so this is like an insurance so let's come on to our second broker on the list which is the Giro. the first point is no account fee no inactivity fee and no withdrawal fee so when you are going to open an account there is no fee for that when you're going to open it and there is no inactivity fee as well that means when your account is stagnant you don't have to pay any uh, fee for that and then there is no withdrawal fees so what is withdrawal fees so when your money is sitting in a bank account in your own bank account in the savings uh, account then if you want to withdraw the money it just reduces your bank balance by the amount of cash you took out uh, or you did a online transfer it's it's as simple as that but when your money is sitting in a brokerage account and when you want to withdraw this money then the broker have to uh, do this transaction by either uh, send to your bank account via electronic funds transfer or arranging for a wire transfer and that's why most brokers charge fees for these wire transfers which are faster than standard electronic fund transfer and this is the reason why they are charging extra money because they are sending the money through another means to your bank account and which are so it's not directly linked to your, with your bank and that's why they charge fees for this extra work now it also says that if you have a good broker then uh, it should not charge this withdrawal fees but i don't agree completely with this because some brokers are really good brokers and they do charge this withdrawal fee and it's not as big as you are imagining so don't just judge a broker by this one fee like i said always check the broker's overall performance now coming back to point two which is quite important for the traders out there stock fees yes degiro do charge the fees on buying and selling the stocks as you can see you can pause the screen and you can see the price uh, but i still see that the price is not so high as compared to its other competitors in the market the Giro is really economical and it has no benchmark fees uh, for forex traders now point three withdrawal time is one day now withdrawal time is quite quick and this is the quickest you can uh, find on from any of the trading other trading platforms or brokers account opening time can take up to three days and this is one of the drawbacks which i find in degiro that you will be waiting in a queue for uh opening your account and of course the account opening needs proof of identity and proof of precedence like i said it's common for all the apps but yes this is one of the drawbacks that it can take up to three days to open your depot account now no minimum deposit is needed this is a really good feature of degiro that when you are uh, when your deep account is opened, you can instantly start trading without depositing any money. Okay, so this is a really good uh, feature of Degiro. Now, point six, it's a really good mobile app and it's really user friendly. Trust me on this. The user interface is really nice and it's easy to understand for beginners as well. Point seven, statistical analysis is quite good. Now, what I mean by statistical analysis. So this is an example of DAX 30, which is a German index. And you can see here the companies which is included in this index. And you can easily see all the other statistics and the chart is really easy to understand and it's really user friendly. And the next point, which concludes 2.7 is good tutorial videos. It really has good tutorial videos, which will allow you to learn more about the application, how to use it. How to use the interface and actually not just that but also the tutorial videos on investment strategies as a beginner 
So let's come to point nine, wide range of portfolios, especially for stocks and ETFs. So it also has a wide range of portfolios, especially for stocks and ETFs like Comdirect, but not for Forex and CFD trading. So you cannot do Forex and CFD trading. But anyways, I am not a big fan of Forex and CFD trading anyways. And especially when you're a beginner, you should really not look into this. Now let's come to point 10. The biggest drawback for beginners is that it has no demo account. And I personally don't understand why the Giro has not thought of uh, putting a demo account. Okay, anyways, coming to point 11, another big drawback for non-German speakers in Germany is that language change is not possible. Yes, if you are in Germany and if you downloaded the app with Germany as your uh, country of living, then you will get the app in German language and the language change is not possible. So same like Comdirect, this comes uh, with the common drawback. And I, I, I think they should really change this feature because to be honest, Degiro is coming with 15 other languages and I don't understand why in Germany you don't have the possibility to change the language. Okay, so coming to point 12, investment protection amount is up to 20,000 euros like other applications like other brokers as well. And now coming to our third broker in on our list, which is Trading212. So let's quickly check the points. The first point, no account fee, no inactivity fee, and no withdrawal fees at all. So no fees in this structure. And second point, yes, it is the most attractive part of Trading212 that it has no stock and ETF fees. You don't have to pay anything when you're trading with one of the stock markets of uh, doesn't matter us stock uk stock or german stock and because of that you might have to buy a minimum amount of stocks so this is not a drawback i would not say it's a major drawback for example if you are trying to buy a stock let's say for 10 euros or 10 dollars then uh, trading 212 might ask you to buy a minimum of two or three because of course there is since there is no fee and no uh, no fee on trading so just not to lose money on that, they will ask you to buy at least a minimum amount of stocks. I will not go into much more details for benchmark fees because uh, this is for Forex trading and uh, I don't recommend Forex trading anyways when you are a beginner. Point four withdrawal time can take up to two days depending on the verification. This is for actually the security uh, of the traders and it can take up to two days. This is not a major drawback, I would say, because I always recommend that when you are putting money into investment you should put that amount of money which you won't be needing anytime soon so please make sure that you have an emergency saving fund which is ready to uh, use whenever you want and don't take out the money which you have invested because you can go in huge loss so anyways i don't recommend to put all of your savings into investments so this right here is not a major drawback for me and shouldn't be for you as well. Uh, point five, time to open the account in one day and minimum deposit is $1. Yes, uh, it needs one day, which is really good. And minimum deposit is $1. Like uh, Degiro, you don't need almost uh, any deposit and you can start trading instantly. Uh, point six, proof of identity and proof of address will be needed. Like I said before, that for every app, this will be common. Seven, this is one of the major drawbacks of trading 212 and the only one which I see is the stock portfolio is actually limited. So the stock portfolio is not that huge, but honestly guys, if you're a beginner or not an advanced trader, you don't need a huge stock portfolio. Uh, the most important ones, or let's say the most big uh, industries are already there. And actually they are adding uh, or increasing their portfolio every day because they themselves know that the portfolio is not that uh, big of a positive point for them. Anyways, and no fund bond investment is possible. Yes, so trading 212 is practically good for uh, trading uh, with CFD actually and if you're looking for intraday trading but this is not the best choice if you're looking for long-term investments especially for ETFs as well because the portfolio for ETF for trading 212 is also really limited coming to point eight good mobile app and user-friendly yes it's really user-friendly and it's it has a really simple user interface to understand good starting tutorial videos like Degiro it also have really good tutorial videos which will help you to understand the application and how it works. Statistical analysis is quite good. Same like Degiro, it also have nice user-friendly charts 
point 11 demo account is possible and some good trading educational videos so demo account is possible as well with trading 212 which is a benefit and uh, some good trading educational videos are also there so you can really train yourself and you can increase your learning curve with that another positive point if we compare this with degiro language change is possible so unlike degiro here you can change the language as well the last point investment protection amount is up to 20000 euros which like i said it's common to all the applications so coming to our last broker on the list which is etoro so let's see what the points are first point no account fee and there is inactivity fee so there is an inactivity fee which is around ten dollars per month after one year of inactivity so if you're not using your account your trading account for a year then you might you would have to pay ten dollars per month and there's also a withdrawal fee which is five dollars now i'm not judging this broker based on these two fees because it's not so high but yes I will not recommend this as an intraday trading broker. So coming to point two, no stock fees, but high currency exchange conversion fees. Yes, the fees is not there. That means if you're trading, uh, buying or selling a stock, there is no fee for that. There is no broker commission for that. But the exchange currency fees is there. That means if you have put your money in euros and you're buying a stock in dollars, then you would have to pay uh, an exchange conversion fees. But honestly, this fees actually doesn't affect you so much if you are until you are trading in thousands of euros, let's say for 10,000 or 10,000 euros. Uh, coming to point three, withdrawal time is up from one to two days. Now, like I said, one day is the quickest you can get from any trading platform. So here in Etoro, it can take up to two days. Point four, account opening time is one day and it's really easy as compared to other two apps. And as uh, usual, account opening needs proof of identity and proof of precedence. Point five, minimum deposit is $200 or around 180 euros. Now, unlike trading 212 and the Giro, you would need a minimum deposit of 180 euros in uh, our case in Europe. Uh, good mobile app and user friendly. Yes, it's really user friendly and it's a good application. The user interface is not so complicated, but the statistical analysis is just okay and it can be improved. It's not as good as the chart analysis of trading 212 and Degiro. Point eight, wide range of portfolios, especially for stocks and ETFs. This is one of a really good application or a broker if you are uh thinking of using it as a long term and this broker also has a huge portfolio of etfs number nine demo account is possible now in this case also it's a plus point that the demo account is possible but it also comes with another positive point which is actually you can use and uh, follow or copy us uh, and other successful investors now like i said positive point but only it's positive when you are using this feature uh during your demo account trial why because uh sometimes it's just and it's just my opinion because sometimes you might copy a successful investor who was successful in last five or six months uh and maybe he started uh, uh in last five and six months and he might be having a beginner's luck or just being lucky and you saw oh my god he earned so much of money so let me copy uh, let me copy his account and then you see a downfall and uh, because you just blindly copied his account so it can be quite dangerous as well and the, I, I say this because guys at the end of the day you and only you are solely responsible for your own money so trust yourself trust your money okay you can use this feature when you are in a demo account when you are using the account as a simulator when you're using fake money and this actually can help you to learn as well that how the other investors are performing how they are investing what are their investment strategies so you can follow them but use this when you are in demo account mode Point 10, you have the possibility to copy successful traders, like I said, but uh, according to me, I don't take this as a complete advantage. And last but not the least, investment protection amount is up to 20,000 euros. So those were the brokers which I would recommend for the beginners or not so advanced traders. Of course, the advanced traders can also use them. But for much more experienced traders, I would say that these are the three brokers which I have filtered out because they have great tools which actually experienced traders can really use to up their game.
And that brings us to our conclusion. So in case of Degiro, according to the analysis, this is the best application if you're looking forward to buy and hold your investments like ETFs and stocks for a longer time. Trading 212 good for beginners and CFD users. So I would say that this is much of a trading app like the name also says trading 212. So this is not uh, the best when you want to keep your money for a longer time. So let's say in investment from an investment point of view. And it's really uh, it's a really good mobile app as well. Etoro, good trading tool, especially as a social platform to learn trading. Also good for cryptos and ETFs because it has a good portfolio of ETFs. And Comdirect, if you're a German speaker, then you have the possibility to use this as a good investor. Okay, guys, so if that conclusion was not so user-friendly or clear, then I would conclude this in another way. Let's say if I would be going in for daily trading, intraday trading, then I would... Uh, rank these apps in this manner so the first one would be trading 212 the second one would be degiro the third one would be toro and the fourth one would be com direct and and from the investment point of view i would rank them the following first would be degiro second would be toro third would be trade 212 and fourth would be com direct now i didn't put com direct in the first two positions though it has a really good portfolio for long term investments but since here we are talking about European users and Comdirect is available or it's more, much more beneficial for only German speakers, that's why I have put this at the last. So guys, that's it for today. And I really hope and I wish that this was really easy to understand for you guys. And I also hope that this helped you or will help you to choose your broker, which you have been looking for. And if you really like the video, please don't forget or please don't hesitate to push that like button because it will really help me and it will help me and motivate me to make more of such content. Yeah, this was the first step that you would need to start investing. Also, if you think that the voice quality was not so good, which I, which one of my viewers already told me, and I'm really trying to work on it. Uh, I don't have my microphone yet and I have ordered it, but it hasn't arrived yet. But I hope the information was crystal clear. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. And I would like to know your opinion on the apps which I mentioned. And yes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It will also help me. And till then, keep investing, be safe, stay happy, love and peace. Ciao.